The film footages was shot with a hidden Super 8 camera because Bruce Lee did not want it to be filmed. According to Bruce Lee, speed in fighting depends not just on your hands and feet in swiftness, but other attributes such as non-telegraphic moves and awareness. Speed in fighting is to hit your foe without yourself being hit. This can only be done by hours of practice and being comp Speed in fighting is no good without the power that goes with it. Here he demonstrates the one finger push up. Power in hitting depends on your strength. But it is the way you throw your blows. It is not whether you are close or at length. If you are too near, use your striking elbows. If you are too far, your kicking feet. But it is the hands that you'll employ the most. Here, he demonstrates his famous one-inch punch. much more powerful than your hand. Kicking properly is the most powerful and damaging blow you can administer. Bruce Lee's forte was the Jeet Kune Do kick, which differs from the classical side Jeet Kune Do side kick. Both the snap and thrust are combined, so there is no loss of power and speed. Here, Bruce Lee Jr. is introduced by his father to family, friends, and admirers. Here, Bruce Lee Jr. demonstrates the power punch. Bruce Lee developed Jeet Kune Do, but wished he didn't have a name for it, because the very words Jeet Kune Do already indicate that it's another martial art form. Lee increased the explosiveness of his kick by the use of his hips, instead of relying only on the snap of the foot from the knee. He jerked his hip forward just an instant before his foot makes contact. The timing of the movements is very important and difficult to do. One of the immediate way to increase your speed at impact is to snap with your hand or foot just before contact. Another demonstration by the champion. If a kick had only power but no snap, the board would be hurled at a distance without breaking unless it was braced. If the kick had a snap but no power, the board would not break. A five inch board without support is too thick to split with a snap kick. The film collections of Hong Kong multi-millionaire Samuel Cheng. In 1973, Golden Harvest tried to buy it for $500,000 right after the death of Bruce Lee, but it was not for sale. After years of negotiation, Pioneer Films was able to reproduce it in 35mm film with permission from Mr. Tiang. 